Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and today I've got a single die from Tonic, it's called the Celtic Chain die and I want to show you how you can think creatively and use this in four different ways to make four very different cards and hopefully this will give you some inspiration for using some of your other single dies in different ways as well. So don't forget if you like this kind of thing to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and the affiliate link for this will be down below in, in the description of the video as well. So let's just get started. So for my first card then, I've taken some Sage Roses Speciality card. This is Craft Perfect from Tonic. Uh, and if you haven't got that, plain card would absolutely be fine because you won't see an awful lot of it through this whenever I actually get it on here, but I just like the color. So I have cut that to 10.5 centimeters by 15 centimeters. And that just gives a lovely little border around there. And then I cut a panel of white card to measure 10 centimeters by 14 and a half so that then will fit directly on here and leave a little border around there as well but before i glue that one on i've taken my lovely little die and i have cut it out first of all in the center and then just moved it out to the side and cut it again so we've got three little apertures here and they're sort of evenly spaced and i'm going to glue those directly on here making sure to leave the little border evenly around and uh, then I'll go ahead and glue this onto the card. Now I'm just going to take the three pieces that I cut out of the centre here. So when I cut those out, I held on to them, just reserved them and I'm going to glue them back in again here. So that makes a really, really beautiful little quick and easy background and that would be gorgeous in all sorts of colours. It would be really, really beautiful in mirror card as well. But anyhow, all I need to do now is add a little sentiment and you could add whatever sentiment you want across here I've actually taken two little dies from the I Miss You on Good Luck die set and uh, I've cut them out here. So the background is in the same colour as the background of the card and then the white on here. So I'm going to glue those together and pop them up on little 3D foam pads just to give a little bit of height on this. And I can just pop the sentiment onto the centre there and there you have it. It's very very easy just to make sure you've got that in the right place too because you can follow the little patterns on here and here. And now just to finish it off, a tiny little butterfly from another set. That's actually from the Mazarine Blue Elements die set and I'm going to pop that up there. And there you have it. For card number two then I've picked a six by six square card and I've got some beautiful pearlescent card here and another piece of white which I'm going to layer up and just put in top here and a little secret I've just uh, taken the middle out of this one because I didn't want to waste that beautiful card so I've cut the middle out of that with my super trimmer and I'm just going to add that on and then put the white panel on top but uh, because that's pearlescent card I don't really like to use glue on it where possible if it's going to be seen. So uh, I've got double sided tape on here and I'm going to add this on first of all and then I'll add the white piece on top of that. Now I've taken this die and I've cut it out four times with diffused violet pearlescent card so that's the same card that's in the back here and I want to make a little frame around the outside here so I'm just going to place these on overlapping the top uh, each end here and under there and then under there and over there so it sort of follows the whole way around and you can see that there's a lovely little border of white showing and that makes a beautiful little frame in the middle so now I'm just going to lay all of these down and I'll put glue down the centre of it and then 
in and around here I'll be able to tuck these pieces in and add the glue on afterwards to that. cut a square of mulberry wine paper and this one measures seven and a half centimeters square and I'm going to glue that into the center there and I've taken a beautiful sentiment this is birthday wishes and I've cut that out in the white card and the pearlescent card and I'm going to back one onto the other so you can see here if you just offset those slightly you'll be able to get a little drop shadow in behind and that will make the purple stand out really well on top of the pattern just to finish this one off I'm going to add a little tiny butterfly up here again and some antique rose crystal drops into the centre of some of these areas here. And you can see there that I actually decided uh, just to change the sentiment round a little bit and put the white one on top. Both of them would have looked nice but I thought the white one stood out just a little bit better and the drop shadow is in behind there to match here. And that's the second card finished. My third card then is another 6x6 six six, uh, and I've cut a panel of the green card again and one of the white. So this is 13 and a half centimetres square and this one is 13. And I'm going to lay those on top of the card like that just to give a lovely little border of the green in between the two white layers. And again, if you don't have that card, you could use something different, uh, something along those lines in that colour because you really really don't see an awful lot of that pattern although I really like it so it gives a little bit of texture but uh, definitely plain card could be used there or even mirror card would be lovely as well this time then I have taken the same little die so this one here again and I've cut it out three times in that beautiful diffused violet pearlescent card and twice in the green and I'm going to put these uh, across the, the card like this so starting off with the violet and then the green and the violet and the green and the violet again and again I'm just going to use my little precision nozzle here and get into all those little areas and lay them down so first of all I'm going to start off with the two outside ones and then I'll be able to just get the placing correct so don't start with one and go right across following across the card if you start with the two and make sure you've got those lined up then you'll be able to place the other ones easy so now just to finish that off I've taken the beautiful little happy birthday sentiment and this has a little backing on it as well so there's a backing plate I've cut it out in white and I've cut the happy birthday out just to match the background here of the pearlescent card and I'm popping that up in 3D foam pads and I've got a beautiful little butterfly this is the same butterfly that I've used on the other two cards there but I really really like this one and it's going to go up there and that's another little card finished very very quick and easy but isn't that beautiful too Lastly then, instead of making a fourth card as I had initially intended, I thought I'd make a lovely little bookmark. So I've cut this panel out again in white and then I've taken a little piece of the green card and I've cut that out at two and a half centimetres wide by twelve and three quarters this way. And then this one in the pearlized card is three centimetres across by 13.25 this way. And I'm going to layer this one on top of this and add that on top of that. And then I'll punch a little hole and add some ribbon up at the top of that. And that's a really, really quick little bookmark. And I always think a lovely little bookmark like that would be beautiful to give as a gift along with a card. So say something like this card that has already got these panels and these colours on it. Then you can just tuck a little bookmark inside and that would make a lovely little, uh, little matching set. just used a plain little hole punch up at the top there and threaded some of this ribbon through so that's uh, crafters ribbon bright white five meters and it's three millimeters wide 
craft perfect and I have made a little loop in there and I always add a little dab of glue just along this area here to make sure that the ribbon doesn't just come out again and finished off by cutting the tails up at the top into a lovely little point and that's a really really quick and easy little bookmark now you could go ahead and add some crystal drops onto that but just make sure if you're doing anything like that that you don't give too much dimension because you don't want to mark the pages of your book i actually think i'm just going to leave that plain but you could ask, add something so long as there's not going to be too much dimension on it well that was four very very quick and easy little projects with one simple little die and i hope that has inspired you to uh, have a look at some of your die sets differently and see what all you can do with them just to stretch them a little bit but that's a beautiful little die if you want to use it to do something like this as well now the drops are still wet in that one so i'm having a quick look at this one first of all but that little frame is uh, really really beautiful in that color and it all blends in but can you just imagine what that would be like in mirror card or something really really bright and eye-catching as well that would be beautiful and then this one a uh, little bit of dimension looks really good on that one too and then this one with the two colors and as you can see i love to have all my samples matching because i think they look better in the end photographs but you don't have to do that at all that's just a little thing that i have because i like them to match and then i was having a little look at this again and this could definitely be a gift tag but um, i have friends who really love uh, reading and i quite often make lots of little bookmarks to give to them so that's a very very quick little bookmark and is beautiful in there so thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave me a little comment down below. And you can let me know which is your favourite card, uh, if you have a favourite one or if you just enjoy them all. But thanks so much for watching. And don't forget my affiliate links for this will be down below in the comment in the description of the video. And I appreciate everybody who uses those as well. So thank you very, very much to all of you. And in the meantime, bye bye and happy crafting.